Hi. Um, each week I'm going to film a couple of questions that I demonstrate how to do from the lecture notes. Well, um, up further examples that add to the lecture notes. And we're going to start today with drawing linear graphs. So this example says sketch the graph of y equals 2x take 3. Now I'm pretty fussy with how you draw your graphs, so I'll take you through the details that I want you to include. Now you're sketching yours with a ruler and a pencil, a sharp pencil. So I'm drawing up the axes. And they are equally measured. All of these are equal distances along the x-axis. And you can use a different scale on the y-axis, um, but all the way along the y-axis it needs to be consistent. Arrows and label, arrows and label, the x-axis and the y-axis. Now label the numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, positive to the right, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, 2, 3. So positive going up on the y-axis and negative going down. Now when you come to draw your graph, we need to find the gradient and the y-intercept. Now for this graph here, the gradient is 2 and the y-intercept is negative 3, like we practised in class. Gradient, you always want to express that as a fraction if you're going to draw the graph. Now it wasn't already a fraction, it was just the number 2, so we need to write it as 2 over 1. Now we place the y-intercept on the graph first, because it is where the graph cuts the y-axis. So our graph will go through negative 3, and from there we rise 2 and run 1. So from here, we go up 2, positive 2 means up, and across 1. It's positive as well, so we'll step to the right. And that gives us another point that our graph passes through. Two points is all we need to draw a straight line. So place your ruler and draw it in. Arrows and label. Okay, there's the graph. That's all the detail that you need. Right, now our next example, another line which we're going to sketch, is negative x over 3 plus 1. The gradient here is the number that's multiplied by x, negative 1 over 3, and the y-intercept is 1. Now I might draw the axes up and then come back to you. I'll be back in a sec. So the first point that goes on the graph is the y-intercept, always. And in this case, it's positive 1. So we look at our y-axis until we find positive 1. From there, the gradient is negative 1 over 3. Now it doesn't matter if you go negative 1 over 3 or 1 over negative 3. But just make a decision one way or the other. You're either going to go down and to the right, or up and to the left. And if you try those, they'll both give you the same line. So I'll go down and to the right. Down one step, because that's the rise. Takes us to the origin. And the run is 3, so 1, 2, 3. So we went down one and across three to the right. If we'd gone up one and across three to the left, it's still the same line, isn't it? We're still getting the same result. We're ready.
ready to roll it in. Arrows on the ends. Label the line. And it's complete. But please don't skimp on those details that you need. You need the um, axes ruled and measured in pencil. You need them labelled with arrows. You need the line ruled, arrows, and labelled with the equation. See you next time.